My grade one amazing students, welcome back. Today we're going to start with an introduction for the first chapter or unit in our math book. This chapter is going to be about addition and subtraction. We need to start discussing the vocabulary that we're going to use in our classes so you can be familiar with them. So this chapter, as you can see, is about understanding addition and subtraction. Let us start with addition, which means that we need to add. Addition is to add. And the sign that we use for addition is the plus sign that we all know. So, to add two or three numbers, I need to, to use the plus sign and I need to put all of these numbers together. Excellent. So when I add, it means I put together. So let's look at that fish that we have in this picture. We can see how many fish. Let's count them. Counting means saying the numbers of these items. Excellent. Let's count the fish that I can see. I have one red which is one the orange is two the yellow is three the green is four the blue is five and the purple is six excellent so i have a total of six fish in this picture excellent what if i got two more fish then how many fish will i have mm. Think about it, if I have six and I'm adding two, this means that I have six plus two, it means that I have six, seven, eight fish. Excellent. Let's look at the group of apples that I have at the left side. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six apples to the left in group one excellent and in group two i have also one two three four five six excellent so i have six apples in group one and six apples in group two what if i want to add them together then i have six plus six excellent Let's count starting from 6 and add another 6 to them. So, I have 6 in mind. I will start counting 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Excellent. So, how many apples do I have in all? I have 12 apples. Excellent, guys. So, we know now what is addition it's when we add things together or when we add numbers together now what about the other vocabulary word which is subtraction subtraction is the opposite of addition when i add i put things together or numbers together when i subtract i take from them excellent Good boys and girls. So let's count the balls that I have, the beach balls that I have in this picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve beach balls in this picture. Excellent. What if I give my friend three of them? This means that this number of beach balls will be less. And I will take three from them. So how many balls do I still have? If I gave them three, mm, think of it. Excellent. I think that you guessed that I will have nine. So this way I subtracted from the 12. I took, nine, I took three from the 12. So I still have nine now. Excellent. This was a very brief introduction about subtraction and addition. Next, we're going to see these word problems related to subtraction and addition. Let's apply what we learned in the previous example. So, 
If I look at the picture of the cows to the left, I have three cows and then three other cows joined them. So how much cows do, they, do I have? I need to count them for first, then I need to join them together, combine them together. So if I count the cows that are looking at me, how many cows do I have? Excellent, one, two, three. The other cows that are still walking and joining them are also one, two, three. Excellent. So if I need to put them th together, then I will have, I'll have the sum of six cows. Excellent. Three plus three equals six. On the other hand, if I want to take away or subtract, let's look at the ducks swimming in the pond to the right. There are seven, seven ducks in the pond and three of them flew away. So how much do I still have in the pond? I can count them easily. Excellent. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. So I still have four ducks in the pond while the other three flew away. So this was an introduction to our chapter. We're going to learn a lot of skills related to addition and subtraction in this unit. So, I'm expecting you to understand all the concepts that we will learn about addition and subtraction. And believe me, we're going to have a lot of interesting activities about them. I love you all and see you in the class.